So let's take a look at Explain Everything and the web browser inside it. So if I start a new project, um, my tutorial on Explain Everything has been quite successful, so I thought I'd do a quick follow-up. One of the great things that Explain Everything has is down the left-hand side, just underneath the A, is an opportunity to insert images and so forth, but also there's a web browser. And so what that does is it opens up the web browser inside Explain Everything. So, for example, if I was showing my class something to do with uh, Wales, it would bring up the web browser inside it. I could then go to my image, or my website, sorry, and then that allows me to scroll up and down and actually show my students the information on that. But then I can also use my other tools. So for example, I might swap to my pen tool and I might want to highlight this image here and have a talk about um, what that's actually about. Or there might be some key academic words here that I need to actually follow up on. I could also use my other tools, for example, the A, which is the text tool. And I can actually write some notes here um, based on my information. So we can make a whole range of different things just in the web browser inside Explain Everything. We could also do a recording. So the students could actually do a recording down the bottom uh, summarizing, for example, the text within that web browser and then move to the next slide and have a look at another website. A really simple feature of Explain Everything, but I think one of the reasons why it is so popular is it has it has these abilities to be able to do these things. So this is a fantastic little feature from a teacher's perspective, but also students, um, also students who are presenting information reports on topics. Paul Hamilton here, signing off.